Hi you guys, it's Wednesday, so you know what time it is. It's time for Sew on Wednesday. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Loreen, and this is my channel about cross stitch and hand embroidery and quilting or whatever I'm working on. I'll be showing you guys. So anyway, I just want to say um, I'm so glad you popped in to see what I'm up to. Um, this is my second take on the video. I was almost done um, with the first one and I was like five minutes away from saying goodbye. I'll see you in two weeks and I reached over and hit the button and it was the wrong button and the video well, Let's just say it. I have to do another one. So this is my second take on this one. So take number two <laughs> So you anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I live in Texas and we're having a beautiful day here. It's actually in the low 80s. And for the end of May, that is pretty pleasant for Texas because normally by now we're up in the 90s. So I'm enjoying today. So I hope it's a beautiful day where you're at. So I just want to answer a few questions that you guys commented on um, from my last video. Um, someone wanted to know if I had a tutorial of project bags. I do have one tutorial out there that's from two years ago, and it's this project bag that I have out there. I did um, do one on this one, and the larger project bags, which is the vinyl ones, it's got a vinyl front. I follow um, the tutorial that Erica Art, A R N D T. She has a YouTube channel. She has a lot of sewing on her channel. And she does step by step on how to put this together. The only difference is hers is smaller than mine. Most of mine are 15 and a half by 15 and a half inches. Uh, Cause I wanna make sure uh, my key snap fits in there or my um, ring fits in there real nicely. So I made it a little bit larger. So but if you wanna know how to, I made this, that's how, what I did, I followed her tutorial. So Erica Ayant. Aunt or aunt, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, but it's spelled A-R-N-D-T. All right? And someone asked, what is a whip? A whip is a work in progress. That's any cross-stitch project that you're still working on is called a whip. That's just an abbrevi abbreviation for a work in progress. And I had learned all these abbreviations when I first started cross-stitching, which is coming up on two years for me, I started in July, um, two years ago. So, um, and I had to learn all these little abbreviations like frog. I go, what in the world is a frog? To frog something? FFO and an FO and I think there's a UFO out there. I'm not even sure. <clears throat> so I'm still learning them too. So that's what a whip is, a work in progress. And this, now I got a good laugh out of this and I think you guys did too. Last week when I was showing you my project bag, I said it was the frying pan running away with a spoon. <laughs> you guys are quick. It's the dish running running away with the spoon. I thought, I knew that. I told my husband, I said, what do you think this is? He goes, it's the dish running away with the spoon. I said, he said, Lorraine, what did you say? I said, the frying pan. He goes, where in the world did you get the frying pan? I said, I don't know. <laughs> So the dish running away with the spoon is the name of this guy, okay? I'm glad we figured that out. Well, you guys knew what knew what you were saying or talking about. I'm the one that didn't know what I was saying or talking about, so. At least we had a good laugh out of it, huh? <clears throat> okay, the next thing is, okay, the lavender and lace. Y'all voted on the lavender and lace um, pattern I need to start on. You guys know I just finished the Winter Rose. I've got her standing up here in the back. And you guys, I put three little cross-stitch pin drum keys back there. Y'all know I'm moving or in the process of selling my house. And um, I had to clean up my sewing room and get it all cleaned up. And now when you sell a house, you have to stage it. And less is better. So I had to clean off my shelves. But I did sneak those back in there or on there for this video because I missed them. I hadn't packed them up yet and I put my little winter rose over there. But I did finish my winter rose and I wanted to start on another lavender and lace and you guys did a vote. 
y'all voted on it. It was the Christmas tree, old Christmas tree, morning song, and then tuck it rose. And I, yesterday I went and counted them all up. Y'all should have got a heart on all your comments because I went and did all your comments yesterday. Put a little heart letting you know I saw them. And um, old Christmas tree got 18 votes. Nantucket Rose got 11, and Morning Song got nine. So, Old Christmas Tree is the winner. So, Old Christmas Tree is what I'm gonna be starting. Where is it at? What did I do with Old Christmas Tree? Oh, it's right here in front of me. Um, next, actually, as soon as I get the eight o'clock cut out and everything, but old Christmas tree with these um, two little children decorating the Christmas tree. And you guys commented that um, 911 Stitcher, she has a Wasu channel, she's completed this. I did go out there to see if I could find it. I haven't found the video yet. I'm still looking for it. So, but I am gonna go and check it out because I have not seen it completely finished. So, but that's what I'm gonna be starting on. And I've already got it. Um, the threads are already in their floss bags and numbered and I'm going to be doing it on 16 count Ivory Ada and I bought this from Hobby Lobby it's their brand artist brand and it's plenty big it's 29 and a half inches by 36 inches and I only need 12 and a half by 15 so this is plenty big for this so once I get it measured out and cut and zigzagged around the edges I'm gonna start on it. So, oh, Christmas tree is my next lavender and lace. So thank you guys for voting on that. I loved them all, so you had to help me. Y'all had to help me decide which one. Okay, the next one is a freebie. Since Memorial Day is this weekend, or this coming weekend, I thought, well, I need to show something that's got some red, white, and blue on it. And I found this little pattern by uh, Plum Street Samplers, and it's a complimentary chart, and it's George Washington's birthday, but it's red, white, and blue, and it's got a little flag, so I thought that would be cute to do. So if y'all want to do this, I'll have it listed below in the comments section, and it's DMC colors right here that you can get, and I didn't have any of these colors, which I am so surprised in my stash because I have got two boxes, plastic boxer, um, plastic containers full of DMC threads. So I'm just going to pull out some red, white, and blue, and, and I think it'll work out fine. So anyway, so thank you, Plum Street Samplers, for this, this free pattern. <clears throat> the next thing I want to show you is... Um, Oh, getting back to selling my house. Someone asked me um, if we have another house picked out. No, we do not. We do not have another house picked out. So our plan is we're probably gonna lease a home until we decide where we actually wanna live because we haven't decided where we wanna live yet. So we're gonna probably lease a space until then. So um, I, want, oh, I had, the, had the question written down and I forgot to to answer it. And I think that's it. Okay. All right. Mother's Day, I got a cross stitch pattern. My daughter always asks me on Mother's Day or any kind of birthday or Christmas if I have a wish list of cross stitch patterns. And honey, I always have a wish list. So I gave her three to choose from and she chose this for me. And I just love it. It's by Plum Street Samplers, My Peaceful Home. And it's another pin drum keep, which I love and I love the colors. And I'm reading the back of the chart. It says Weeks Dye Works. You can use Week Dye Works threads or DMC. And I'm gonna be doing, of course, the DMC. Here's the colors back here. Isn't this pretty? I just love that. So I'm gonna be starting on that. Ooh, and I've got another one I wanna start. Since July 4th is coming up too, I've got this Liberty Pin Drum Justice, Justice Needle Berry by Heart Street Samplers. 
Oh, I think that's so cute. I'll do a strawberry and the pin key, pin drum key. And I've already got the the threads for it, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do ivory or do a tea stain Ada for that. I haven't decided yet. So I've got that. <clears throat> so those are the two new ones I'm gonna start on. Um, those two small ones, and then my large oh Christmas tree. Okay, you guys, let's get on to the whips now. All right. Miss Jane Austen is coming up first. I've been working on the border a little bit, and I did the letter Z. So, like I said, I've done Z, and I've done a couple more of the motifs up here. I've got two more to do, it looks like, and then I'll be at the corner. I've got to get this border done. Okay. I've taken most of my stuff off the out of the hoop or the she snap. So it's a little wrinkled like always, but I don't want to press my stuff every time I show it. I'll be pressing it all the time. But there she is. Isn't she beautiful? So I added two more of these up here. And then I added the Z. So I want to continue on the border. And I may add the lettering down here. But isn't she pretty? So, so pretty. I am doing this on 16 count Ada coffee tea stain by me, and it's all DMC threads. And I started this in October of last year. So this is Tenderness of Heart by Twin Peak Primitives. She's so pretty. She is. All right. The next one I pulled out is a Christmas one. It's the Gingerbread Village by Twin. No, let me see. Who is it by? Country Cottage. These works. Let me confirm that. Yes, Country Cottage Needleworks. And this is the one that has 11 individual patterns. You can do them individually, or you can do them as a group, like a picture. And you can go to Country Cottage Needleworks website and print this off. They've already got it put together for you. And I'm over here. I've done all these. I'm working on the border here, and I'm working on this little house right here. So let me show it to you. I still have this one in the hoop, so I'm just going to leave it in the hoop for right now. But this is the one I'm working on, this little gingerbread house. And I still got the border to go across here to do. Isn't this guy cute? I just love him. So let me hold it up so you can see it all. It's going to be pretty wide. Isn't that adorable? I decided I better get going on this because it's going to take me a while to get it done. And I want to get it done by Christmas. So I'm pulling out some of my Christmas stuff just to get a head start. So this is um, the Gingerbread Village by Country Cottage New Yorks. And there's seven, there are several villages out there. Snow, I've got Snow Village. I haven't started yet. I've got Nutcracker Village. I haven't started yet. I'm fixing to have the Santa Village. I haven't started yet. And um, the Gingerbread Village is the only one that I'm actually working on. So um, 
And I think there's a glitter village, and I don't even have that one. <clears throat> it's got some really, she's got some really cute ones out there at the Country Cottage Needleworks. All right, the next one is, it's got to do with yo-yos. Y'all know, um, a few videos ago, I told y'all about my fabric. I had bought three different shades of blue, and I'm going to do a yo-yo, um, like a little uh, throw or a quilt from yo-yos. And I pulled out my yo-yo um, cross stitch I was working on. I started a while back. When did I start it? Um, August. I started in August and, uh, of last year, and I'm doing it on 14 white Ada, and it uses 26 DMC colors. And this is by Carolyn Manning Designs, and it's called Yo-Yo. And it's part of her cross-stitch um, quilt block collection. But isn't that the cutest? So I've gotten four done. I've got that all the way down to here. And then I've started on, I've got that one done, that one done, and I'm working on this one right here. But doesn't it look like a real Yo-Yo quilt? Let me show it to you. And that's what I've got done. Look at those colors. Lots of colors, a lot of color changes in this, but it's so, so pretty. And the thing is, they look like yo-yos. And once you put the back stitch in there, there's a little back stitch that goes um, around the center to make it look like it's been sewn together. I don't know if you can see it or not. This is cute. I just love this. So this is Yo-Yo's by Carol Manning Designs. It's such a pretty, pretty pattern. And I like my project bag I have it in. It's got buttons and scissors and tape measures and all kind of cute stuff on it. Isn't that cute? It's one of my favorite project bags. All right, the next one is Be Mine. This one is so darling. It's part of the vintage collection. And I'm working on a little boy. I've got his jacket almost done. Oh, wow. Did y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all heard that or not. We have these um, geese, and they'll fly by when they're flying by. They're making all kinds of noise. So they just flew by my window, so I'm not sure y'all could hear it or not. But that's why I looked out like, whoa. But we have a pond in our backyard, and our neighbors have a pond across the street, and they like to land in that pond and swim around. So... Anyway, so that's what's going on outside here. But um, I've got the little jacket almost done, and he's turning out so darling. So let me show him to you. So cute, huh? Don't you just love their little faces? So, so sweet. So I've just got his little pants to do and finish his little jacket. And then I have to do the back stitching, which is a lot of it. But that's going to make it really pop. So this is Be Mine. It's part of the vintage collection by this Italian designer. And I'm doing it on 14 count Ada Toast. I'm not sure if I told you that or not. But that is the color of the Ada. I'm an Ada girl. Very few things do I have on anything else. I have a couple of projects that I did on 28 count, even weave, but eight is my favorite to work with. Okay, the next one is the Cherry Sampler by Sugar Stitches. And I've been working on the cherries. So let me show you. That's what I 
I've got done. And these are the cherries I've been working on. They're gonna be just like these, just on this side. And then I need to finish the border going up. Me and my borders. Doesn't that look yummy? Good enough to eat. I just love cherries. I love cherry pie, I love cherry cobbler. I love cherries, people. I think that's why I like this pattern, because I love cherries so much. I've got a blueberry one, too. I love I love blueberries, too. So, but I haven't started on that one, because I really want to finish this one before I start another one. So, here it is. Sugar Stitches Cherry Sampler. Looks good enough to eat. Good enough to eat. Makes me hungry. And I want to show you this project bag I have it in. Cherries. It's perfect for that. Okay, my next one is, this actually is my last uh, whip. It is Enchanted Alphabet by Lavender and Lace. And I'm doing this on um, ivory 16 count and I started this in December of 2022 and this is it and what I've gotten done I did the end and I started on the dove I don't only have like half of the dove done it doesn't look like anything right now and I only have one more letter I think it's O yeah O right there and then I can start a little girl and she is so cute she's got a little rabbit right here a little bunny and she's got a little rope like a little leash or something on a little rabbit it's like her pet bunny but it's so darling I can't wait to get to her so I'm almost there so let me show you what I've gotten done on this one the letters are so so fancy and so colorful oh there's all kinds of colors in these lettering the alphabet here this is the end and this is part of the dub i've started up there sorry for the rain jewels it's going to be so much prettier once <laughs> I get finished and I can press it and show you guys, but, but that's how much I've gotten done on Enchanted Alphabet. And there's my little needle minder, isn't that cute? I did that with a pendant, just pop the back of it off and put a magnet on it. So there you go, Enchanted Alphabet by Lavender and Lace. This one is com coming along very nicely. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now this part of the video is where I show you my hand embroidery, and I'm also gonna show you my yo-yos, what I've been doing on my yo-yos. So y'all stay tuned for this. It's coming up. Now, <clears throat> Okay, you guys, y'all know this is my big project bags for, with, loaded with my hand embroidery stuff. Well, I want to show you what I've been working on. I'm still working on this, these guys. And I've got his legs in, his, on his arms. I just need to do his eye. And I've got the little uh, cup done as far as sewing her outline and her flowers and the lid. And I'm working on an arm. So let me show you. So cute. This one's turned out so, so cute. Look at that. Isn't that darling? So I've started her arm over here, but I still got the eyes to do, which I should have did those first, but I'm saving them for last this time. And I've got the grass down here and a couple of flowers down here. So I should have this one done probably by the end of the day. If I get to work on it today. So darling. It's 
so cute. These are these little vegetable um, and dish patterns are so cute because they're always dancing or doing something fun, running, dancing, cooking, <clears throat> always doing something. Okay, let me get a big tote here. All right, next thing I want to show you is my inchies. Have you ever heard of inchies? I never heard of inchies either. And a while back on Pinterest, um, someone had put inchies on there. And it's just a one inch by one inch square and you sew something in there. So I drew up lots of little squares, one by one, on a, on a piece of on my um, fabric here. I think this is off-white. Look at all the squares I sewed, I drew up. And I didn't realize, I thought, oh my gosh, Lorraine, that's gonna take you a long time. Well, anyway, I started it anyway. So this is like a sewing theme I've got um, going on here. I do have a couple of things that doesn't have to do with sewing, like a little bunny, because I like bunnies. But um, anyway, so this is what I've done. I just would go and sometimes draw out, um, like here you can see I drew, drew out the bunny ahead of time, and I just go and stitch it. And that's how I did the rest of them. I just draw it out and just stitch it. Isn't it cute? I've got little scissors, little pin cushions, threads, buttons, safety pins, iron, um, um, little flowers, a little cat, little cat playing with a ball of yarn. There's my little sewing machine right there. But look how big it's going to be. I think it's like 120, maybe more than that, squares I need to do. But this is such a fun little project, and it's going to make a cute little wall hanging for sure. So that's what I've been working on. My inchies. I've even got some sewing glasses here. So that's what inchies are. I think I started this a couple of years ago. I need to continue working on that for sure. Okay, the next thing is I made a little eye case. Um, just want to show you one of these finished projects I've done. And I've got a tutorial on how I did this with one of my hand embroidery um, pieces. Isn't that cute? I got some eyeglasses in there. And it's fully lined. And I've got I've got it quilted too, like with a little dime shape. But isn't this cute? So I made that. And like I said, I've got a tutorial on how to make eyeglass case. Really cute, really easy, fast. And this next thing, Carolyn, my cross stitch buddy from Maryland, came down and we let me put this on the floor. We decided to make a bag. And got this pretty lady on front of my bag. Isn't she pretty? She's like a little Southern Belle lady. Very, very large. And I added some pearls and some glass beads on mine. There's pearls on her dress and there's glass beads on her dress and on the umbrella that she's holding. Isn't she pretty? And this is the back of it. And the inside is fully lined with a pocket. And what I use this for is if I'm traveling somewhere, going somewhere, I put my hand embroidery in here. It fits nicely, the hoop and everything inside. And my scissors and whatever else I may need in this bag. So I want to make one with a cross stitch on the front. So I haven't decided which one I'm going to make, um, what pattern I'm going to use for that. But I do want to make another one and 
and put a cross stitch design on the front one. But isn't that beautiful? I just love that. And the bottom, it stands up. It's quilted and it's got some kind of padding in there. Carolyn had brought it. Um, she's like, she put this in there and I'm not sure what that is. I forgot what it was. It was some kind of foam or something, thick foam. And she put that in the bottom of it so it would stand up. So it stands up nicely. I just insert this in the bottom. And it stands up really nice. So yeah, that's my bag. So pretty. I use it a lot. And the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is my yo-yos. My yo-yo status. What's happening with my yo-yos. Y'all know I showed y'all I bought the um, fabric, the blue fabric. And I only bought three different colors. And... I bought, I bought this blue, and I bought this blue, a yard of each, and then I bought this blue, but I've already cut out the circles for my yo-yos, and that's how many I got um, for my yard of fabric, and I've already made a few yo-yos from that, and here they are. These are so much fun to make. I make them while I'm watching television. They're so much fun to make. So, aren't they pretty? And I'm using a four and three fourth inch circle I just had, and that's my little um, template. So and they're turning out to be about two and a half inches, or a little less than two and a half inches. So, really cute. So that's my yo-yo status. I'll keep showing y'all maybe in a month how many yo-yos I've gotten and if I've got the other fabric cut out. I want to buy two or three more shades of blue and um, cut those out too in circles for my yo-yos. And then I'll start piecing it together once I get all my yo-yos. So it's going to take a while to get all the yo-yos cut out and sewn. But it'll be fun. I'll have fun doing it. So... Okay, you guys, that's it for this week's video. I'm so glad you joined me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day uh, weekend that's coming up. And y'all just have a blessed week. And I'll see you hopefully in two weeks, unless something's going on with my house. Um, so, but the plan is in two weeks. So until then, just remember one stitch at a time. We'll get you there one stitch at a time. God bless you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye now.